Hello and welcome to the workout today. Today we're going to be going through some core, some flexibility, some strength, and really make sure that we feel good today. The workout, uh, the next five minutes are a sped up version of my 50 minute workout that I do with my clients every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I hope you enjoy this workout and uh, I'll talk about some concepts over the top of it as we are going through. So here's the workout. Exercises are in the description. We're gonna get started with this workout. I like to start with a story also. Have you ever felt like your body is betraying you no matter how hard you try to stay active? Emily certainly did. For years, she had been an avid runner, completing several marathons and enjoying the thrill of the open road. But lately, every step that she takes was accompanied by a sharp, nagging pain in her knees. Running was once her greatest joy, and now it had become a source of dread. Emily tried everything, ice packs, knee braces, even cortisone shots, but nothing worked. The pain persisted, and her once active lifestyle dwindled to short, painful walks around the block. Feeling defeated, Emily started to believe that she might never run again. She missed the freedom, the stress relief, and just the exhilaration of pushing her limits. Then one day, while browsing online, she stumbled upon pain-free fitness. I'm Chris Jenke. I've been doing this for 20 years, and I want to welcome you to this, what I think is very unique, one-of-a-kind five-minute podcast where we dive into these inspiring stories. I show you the workout of the day and give you some practical tips to help you achieve your fitness goals without pain. On the screen, you're seeing this 50-minute workout fast-forwarded to just five minutes. Be sure to check the exercise list down below. Emily's life transformed once she discovered pain-free fitness. By incorporating gentle, effective exercises into her routine, she found a way to stay active without aggravating her knees. This transformation is something that you can achieve too. Many of my clients have shared similar struggles and triumphs over the years. And although Emily's story is fictional, it is a representation of many of the clients and all the stories of the thousands and thousands of people that I've encountered throughout my career. The core concept that Emily and people like her embraced was mindful movement. Instead of pushing through the pain, she learns to listen to her body and perform exercises that support healing and strength without strain. Low impact exercises focusing on strengthening the muscles around your knees, they'll provide better support. Simple you know, leg lifts, squats, crunches you're seeing me do right now, modified lunges, etc will become staples of your routine. Also incorporating flexibility exercises to maintain joint mobility. And you'll see, you saw early on, there was a 20 minute timer. That was the flexibility section. This 10 minutes is for the core. Another crucial element is balance training. Balance training is so important. By improving her balance, Emily and people like her reduced their risk of falls and further injuries. Practice, uh, you know, they're standing on one leg, which you'll see later on in this workout, using a chair for support, gradual progression. Basically, gradual progression is the number one key to this. I'm doing bench press right now. I'm showing a few variations. You can do it with your hips up or your hips down. Uh, bench press and other weightlifting are great examples of this concept. If you're doing a motion, whether it's squats or lunges or running or whatever it is, there's always a way to make that particular movement easier. With bench press, it's really easy to see because if you're doing 12 pounds and it's too heavy, drop it down to 10. Easy, right? But with more complicated movements, you can change the actual exercise. There's a whole continuum of exercises. This is your level one. This is your level two. This is your level three. So by paying attention to other things like rest days, uh, making sure you do get enough rest, enough water, enough variety of range of motion. You'll see we do dozens of ranges of motion in this workout. We don't stick to two or three or five. We are doing dozens of range of motion. So Emily's journey and journeys like Emily, they are testaments to the power of pain-free fitness and mindful movement. If you are struggling with chronic pain, injuries, consider trying these gentle and effective exercises. I post new workouts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all those to stay updated. 
Also, if you are looking for more, check the description for an exercise list, details about the 30-day fitness program where you can get the full workout, all the, the talking, you know, me guiding you through every single exercise that you see here in Fast Motion. It's a 30-day program. You get one new exercise, uh, one new 50-minute workout per day for 30 days. It's a jam-packed full of value. So join us to start your journey toward a healthier, more pain-free lifestyle. Remember that sustainable fitness is listening to your body and enjoying movement without pain.